The goal behind Lausanne um, has always been to offer diners an alternative approach to Indian cooking. Now when I say alternative, I don't mean to move away from its authenticity. Everything that we do is very authentic, more so than your mainstream curry restaurant. I mean, it's, it's been a fantastic journey for us. Uh, we opened in April 2002, all um, very small team at that time, all young, eager, slightly uh, naive, to it and you know but we knew what we wanted to achieve and we've seen through time how how we've become more and more bold with what we're doing our understanding of what we're actually trying to achieve and how we're achieving it's just become so much more uh, cleaner and precise and the techniques as well you know where as time's gone by we've been able to adopt new techniques and and, and bring it in and we've been able to experiment Lasan as a as a business as a core team we've got 30 of us, but you know, peak periods that does go up. So we've got our core team and then we've got our part timers and all the support teams as well. And any, anywhere up to like 50 people we've employed. So, and the great thing about the business is we've been in a, a fortunate position where we've never ever to this day ever had to let anyone go because we can't afford to keep them. I think the UK's perception of Indian cuisine um, for quite a, a long period, so about 30 year long period, remain quite stagnant and that was it, it's 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 nothing special it is something it's good hearty food it's something that we all enjoy but we don't necessarily respect it we enjoy it we admire it because we it gives us a feeling of satisfaction uh, after eating it but we don't respect it as you know good cooking and what's happened I think you know over the last decade or so where people have educated themselves a bit more about food and people are starting to look for authenticity people are starting to understand what they're actually eating they're starting to the diners are eking out the places which are educating and giving them that education and allowing them to understand what real Indian food is all about for me cooking was quite natural um, as a business uh, restaurants have been in our, our family for many generations uh, going back into the 50s um, but for me my journey with food started from a very young age uh, not only because you eat it but uh, it's uh, I used to spend a lot of time with my mother it's a bit of a mummy's boy um, and I'd spend a lot of time in the kitchen with my mother my mother was a homemaker and um, you know that's where I learned started to learn traditional Bengali cooking and the great thing about my mother she had a very varied uh, social um, network of friends, you know, people from all parts of the Asian subcontinent. So we had various styles of cooking coming into our kitchen. So I was able to pick up and understand the differences between all the different styles and cultural differences from the Indian subcontinent, because they're not all the same. There's various languages, various cultures, various religions that make up this, this more or less a continent. Lasan as a, a brand, we've expanded it to get involved in various other other aspects of um, the hospitality industry. So we've we were involved in consultancy. So we've got our own consultancy arm, which was born from a lot of people looking at us, asking us for advice as to what they can do to achieve the level of success that we have. So from that, we decided to set up the consultancy. Um, we've got other restaurants. We've got a lovely South Indian style cafe that we launched um, a few years back and it's just been relaunched um, which is just on the outskirts of the city um, and then we've, last year we launched uh, an Argentine restaurant as well and that once again just came from our love of good quality produce we've got access to some fantastic produce here some great beef and um, having spent some time there having friends in the business in um, the Argentine sector as much as we'd love to have a chain of Lasans uh, throughout the country, we have to respect it for what it is. And Lasan is made up of the people that are involved and the people who are here on a daily basis. And sadly, you can't replicate people. We've had so many offers of investment to move to various parts of the country, various parts of the world. But when we looked at it, we thought we just can't do that because, you know, we'll put our brand out there, but it's the people that do it and it's because our, our style of cooking is so unique it's not something that you can just put a carbon copy and place it anywhere else and it just our heart wouldn't allow us to do it mm -hmm.